while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Give me Joel chapter one. Oh, is it Joel three? I want to show you because you said you said I'm gonna show you that the Israelites, black black people, we didn't sell ourselves to the white man. It was two different people. Give me the Bible dictionary too. Joel chapter one. This is the book of Joel. Chapter three and verse three. Joel chapter three and verse three. And they have cast lots. Joel chapter three and verse three. Joel chapter three and verse three. And they have cast lots for my people. Uh huh. And have given a boy for a harlot. So they said they have cast lots for my people. I mean, they was gambling. They was using us. They, they was using us as they gambling. The slave master was gambling us. And it says what? And giving a boy for a harlot. And they giving a boy for a harlot. I mean, they we were sex slaves. They were selling us as sex slaves. A boy for a harlot. We was being breeded. And that's in the history books. When you read the history books, that stuff happened. It happened to us. This Bible is our history book. Read. And sold a girl for wine. And sold the girl as a whore for wine. They was trading wine and selling our daughters for a whore. Read. That they make that they might drink. And wait, and, and they just read that read that uh top of verse three again. Okay. And, and they, giving a boy for Harley. Verse three. And they have cast lots for my peoples. Uh -huh. And have given a boy for a harlot. This isn't giving a boy for a harlot. That it goes deeper than our young men just sleeping with uh, sleeping with women. You ever seen the movie Goodbye Out the Time? It shows this. They was they was they was having our young men selling them to white men as sex slaves. So you wonder why we why we messed up in the head? How we our young men nowadays are walking around with dresses on and skirts? It started back then in slavery. Because that's what they was doing to us. They was they was beating us down mentally. They stripped us of everything. Read. And, and, and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Uh-huh. Yay, and what have ye to do with me? So now this is God speaking to these nations that did these things to us. He said, what have you to do with me? Because right now, all these nations got our Bible. But he said, what do you have to do with me? You ain't get, he took the God is saying these nations ain't got nothing to do with him. Read. O Tyree and Zidon. O Tyree and Zidon. Those are African nations. Tyree and Zidon are African nations. Read. What these like African nations did? And all the coast of Palestine. All the coast of Palestine. That's the that's your Arabians. Yeah, it's the it's the uh, sons of Ishmael. Because what is it's that right here? You, you ever heard of the Trans-Saharan slave trade? Right here? That's when the, Ar the Arabs had us in slavery. Right, right. They, had, they, they actually had us in slavery, and it was worse than what we go through today. So that's who the coast of Palestine is. Three. Will ye render me a recompense? So the Most High God said, you gonna render me a recompense? Because I didn't choose you? You gonna pay me back? Read. And if ye recompense me, so the Most High God said, okay, if you, you, you recompense me, you will take my sons and put them into slavery. If you recompense me, read. Swiftly and speedy will I return your recompense upon your own head. The Most High God said, swiftly and speedily, I'm going to return your recompense upon your own head. Meaning, I'm going to come with fire. I'm going to come with destruction. And you're going to see what recompense is. That's what the Most High God is saying. And that's why we are here today. To show y'all that y'all are Israelites. So that y'all can come over here with us. Apply the commandments. So when the Most High do bring that destruction. Y'all not caught up in that destruction with the wicked. Right. With the other nations. Because that's what's going to happen. Anybody that's any nation. Any of the, anybody of the nation of Israel. The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If they are not keeping these commandments. In the faith of Jesus Christ. The black Messiah. Right. They're going to be put to death. That's right. Because when Christ come back. It's not going to be. Hugs and kisses, right. dreams and wishes. It's gonna be murder. murder. It's gonna be bloodshed. Right. It's gonna be fire. And y'all don't want to see that. Y'all want to be on the side of the team where he come back and he redeeming you. Right. Read. Because you have taken my silver and my gold. So he said, because you have taken my silver and my gold. We are the God's silver and gold. We are his silver and gold. Read. And have carried into your temple. 
my goodly pleasant thing. They stripped us of everything. As you go deeper, deeper back in history, they took our uh the tablet, they took everything from us. They stripped us of everything that we know. That's why today a lot of our people don't know that we are the Israelites. They took everything from us, read. They took our Bible, they took our images, they stripped us of everything, read. Verse 6. The children also of Judah. The children of Judah, read. And the children of Jerusalem. The children of Judah and the children of Jerusalem is talking about when you look at this sign right here. The children of Judah is talking about the first three tribes, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. The children of Jerusalem is talking about the rest of them, the other nine tribes. It's the, it's the southern kingdom at the top and the northern kingdom at the bottom. Because when you look in this Bible, when you go through the history, in 1 Kings, there's 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. When we, there, there came a point in time where the, the kingdom was split in two. We separated and we went, one, went the, one went off into idolatry and one for a little bit of time stayed keeping the commandments and then I eventually went off. Right. Read. Have ye sold unto the Grecians? Read the whole verse. Read the whole thought. Verse 6. The oh, children. Remember, remember what he said. He said Tyre and Zidon, which is African nations. He said in the uh, coast of Palestine. Read. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians. Who are the Grecians? Grecians? Yeah, who are the Greeks? I don't know. Greek, Greek people? Greeks, yeah, who are they? What nation of people? I don't know their nation. I just know Greeks. Do you know? Greeks is, uh, well, you, you ever heard of Greek mythology? Over here. Well, I was thinking that. Greek mythology. mythology. Who was who was behind that Greek they, mythology? They ain't black. They ain't black. Who was it? I mean, it would have to be the Greeks, right? It was the white people. So the Grecians, so remember, it says Ty oh, Tyre and Zidon, African nations in the coast of Palestine, and it says you have sold the children of Judah and Jerusalem, which is the 12 tribes of Israel, and it says unto the Grecians. So when the so-called white man came over there to the west coast of Africa, they bought us from the Africans. And they also bought us from the Arabians. It wasn't blacks selling blacks. It wasn't the Israelites selling Israelites into slavery. No, it was the Africans selling the Israelites because they knew that they knew who we were. They know that we even even today, the Africans know we're not the same people because they don't like us either. We look similar, but there's a huge difference between us, and they know it. Read that ye might remove them. Far from their border. It says that she might remove them far from their border. Now, I'm not saying that we was doing everything right when we was on the west coast of Africa. Even when we, uh, the, the, the northern kingdom was over here. I'm not saying that we was doing everything right. But it said we well, removed them far from, your birth, from their border. I mean, they removed us far from our land and our heritage, which is God's laws. They removed all of that from us. They stripped us down to nothing and then raised us up into idolatry. Now we think, now we... When you go to the black community, you got brothers, you got brothers, our brothers and sisters that's in Islam, they in Christianity, they in Buddhism, Hinduism, and spirituality, Egyptology. We, is, we, are the, we are the most divided people. And the thing about it is, when you look at all the original religions that we engulfed in, none of them look like us. Christianity, you got white Jesus. Islam, you got what the nation the nation of Islam they follow right now is another the white man. We for everything we follow, we do we don't we, we follow at the religions that got nothing to do with us. Read. Behold, I will raise them out of the places whether ye have sold them. So this is very heavy right here. Because when we just read, we just read a couple of the verses, but this is a process of time. All this stuff happened over a process of time. And then now read that again. Behold, I will raise them out of the places whether ye have sold them. So the Most High God said, Behold, I will raise them up out of the places that ye have whether ye have sold them. That's why we out here teaching right now. Because we being read the nation of Israel is being risen back up. And if you ain't heard, if you ain't seen it, if you go type, if you go on the internet and type Israel, you type any of that, then it's, it's, it's no secret no more cat is out the bag that we are the Israelites. It's known. It's a known fact. If you ain't heard it, just go search it. Go Google search and you will see it. We everywhere. 
We're waking up everywhere. And that's what the, that's the fulfillment of this prophecy. Read it again. Behold, I will raise them out of the places where ye have sold them and will return your recompense upon your own head. So right now, it's, like I said, even though this is one verse, it's a process of time. He said he's going to raise us up out of the land where we were sold as slaves. And then he said he's going to bring your recompense upon your head. Why do you think all these nuclear weapons are being uh, created and made? Why, why do all these nations got these nuclear weapons? You think they just, they just got them so they can say they got them? Anybody that, that's into uh, storing up weapons and all that, they got them because they plan on using them someday, right? You ain't gonna just buy a whole bunch of guns and all this and just be like, you know what? No, nah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. They got ammo and all that. They ready, waiting for the day to use it. That's why all these nuclear bombs. And as you look at this sound, what we just brought out, all of these religions, you got here, you got the Baptists. Uh, 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 every, just about every every black man or black woman talking about they Baptists. Who founded Bap the Baptist uh, so-called religion in 1608? A so-called white man. Mormonism. Got a lot of our people in that. So-called white man. Seven day Adventist. White woman. Uh, Jehovah's Witness. A lot of our people is in the Gulf in that. White man. Pentecostal. White man. And the list goes on. Islam. The nation of Islam. The, the, uh, what they call it? NOI? That they follow now. The fruit of Islam. For, what's, what's his name? Farad G. Muhammad or something like that? Farad G. Muhammad. A white man. He started that over here in the States. He started it. A white man. But we're following out there. Rastafarianism. Forget his national. What's the what? Selah Celeste? What is it? Oh, Celeste Celeste. Celeste. Haley Celeste. That's not us. So we get caught up in all these religions that ain't got nothing to do with us. When the Bible is our source. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.